This audio production was made in collaboration with Audible Anarchist. What is Communist Anarchism? By Alexander Berkman. Authors Forward. I consider anarchism the most rational and practical conception of a social life in freedom and harmony. I am convinced that its realization is a certainty in the course of human development. The time of that realization will depend upon two factors. First, on how soon existing conditions will grow physically and spiritually unbearable to considerable portions of mankind, particularly to the laboring classes, and secondly, on the degree in which anarchist views will become understood and accepted. Our social institutions are founded on certain ideas. As long as the latter are generally believed, the institutions built on them are safe. Government remains strong because people think political authority and legal compulsion necessary. Capitalism will continue as long as such an economic system is considered adequate and just. The weakening of ideas which support the evil and oppressive present-day conditions means the ultimate breakdown of government and capitalism. Progress consists in abolishing what man has outlived and substituting in its place a more suitable environment. It must be evident, even to the casual observer, that society is undergoing a radical change in its fundamental conceptions. The World War and the Russian Revolution are the main causes of it. The war has unmasked the vicious character of capitalist competition and the murderous incompetency of governments to settle quarrels among nations or rather among the ruling financial cliques. It is because the people are losing faith in the old methods that the great powers are now compelled to discuss limitations of armaments and even the outlawing of war. It is not so long ago that the very suggestion of such a possibility met with utmost scorn and ridicule. Similarly, is breaking down the belief in other established institutions. Capitalism still, quote, works, but doubt about its expediency and justice is gnawing at the heart of ever-widening social circles. The Russian Revolution has broadcasted ideas and feelings that are undermining capitalist society particularly its economic basis and the sanctity of private ownership of the means of social existence. For not only in Russia did the October change take place, it has influenced the masses throughout the world. The cherished superstition that what exists is permanent has been shaken beyond recovery. The war, the Russian Revolution, and the post-war developments have also combined to disillusion vast numbers about socialism. It is literally true that like Christianity, socialism has conquered the world by defeating itself. The socialist parties now run, or help to run, most of the European governments, but the people do not believe any more that they are different from other bourgeois regimes. They feel that socialism has failed and is bankrupt. In like manner have the Bolsheviki proven that Marxist dogma and Leninist principles can only lead to dictatorship and reaction. To the anarchists, there is nothing surprising in all this. They have always claimed that the state is destructive to individual liberty and social harmony and that only the abolition of coercive authority and material inequality can solve our political, economic, and national problems. But their arguments, though based on the age-long experience of man, seemed mere theory to the present generation, 
until the events of the last two decades have demonstrated in actual life the truth of the anarchist position. The breakdown of socialism and Bolshevism has cleared the way for anarchism. There is considerable literature on anarchism, but most of its larger works were written before the World War. The experience of the recent past has been vital and has made certain revisions necessary in the anarchist attitude and argumentation. Though basic propositions remain the same, some modifications of practical application are dictated by facts of current history. The lessons of the Russian Revolution, in particular, call for a new approach to various important problems, chief among them the character and activities of the social revolution. Furthermore, anarchist books, with few exceptions, are not accessible to the understanding of the average reader. It is the common failing of most works dealing with social questions that they are written on the assumption that the reader is already familiar to a considerable extent with a subject, which is generally not the case at all. As a result, there are very few books treating of social problems in a sufficiently simple and intelligible manner. For the above reason, I consider a restatement of the anarchist position very much needed at this time, a restatement in the plainest and clearest terms which can be understood by everyone, that is, an ABC of anarchism. With that object in view, the following pages have been written. This has been a production of Audible Anarchist. You can find more Audible Anarchist on YouTube.